good morning we're here at toria state park in florida it's about four hours from our house we did not do any taping yesterday because it was such a long trip for us and then we got in it was dark it was raining but we got everything all unpacked and opened up we are just kind of hanging out in the cool breeze it's nice and chilly this morning it feels so good um cool breeze this morning deciding what we are going to do because there are so many hiking spots all around this area. I'm doing the Weeping Ridge Trail today, which is about one mile, which is supposed to be super cool from what I read and saw on YouTube because much like you guys, I go to other people besides myself to find out um, what trails and campsites are like before I head there. So I was doing my research about the state park. So we're headed there, I'm really excited about that. We just got done with lunch. Probably the baby's gonna take a nap, we'll see how she is. And then just kinda relax for the day. Uh, maybe do some more exploring in the area, take a bike ride. Um, I like the terrain here, it's um, what I expected, what I had seen in red. It's um, hilly, lots of elevation, ups and downs, lots of elevation changes. So this is the end of the Weeping Ridge Trail. I we didn't even go half a mile i don't think um down here and you can tell it continues on that way but there's a huge tree across the path which is pretty much what the whole area is like back in the trailer this afternoon. We went on our hike, explored the park a little bit more, and now Sean is trying to get the baby to lie down for a nap. However, from what I hear from behind that door, there's not a whole lot of napping going on in there. Um, and I think we're just gonna relax the rest of the day. Honestly, um, there aren't so many other trails to do. It seems like there's like a big reunion um, in the reservation kind of like lodge thing. So we can't go check that out yet because there's a lot of people in there drinking and there's no barbecue, which is so good. Um, so they're cooking and having a good time. So I think we're just going to kind of wind down and relax for the evening. I can't set a hammock up. The sites are, are pretty narrow and that's putting it lightly. Like they're narrow. Um, I can't even put the awning all the way on. So they're that narrow, but um, they're pretty deep, but there's not a whole lot of room to like, there's a room for a few chairs, but we would be, it would be tight out there with our family of six if we had had the boys, the mega family this weekend. Um, so we're really thankful to finally have our trailer. We really love it. And it kind of makes trips like this a little bit easier, so. are doing the trail for the Civil War battery that took place here which is interesting because you can see where the ground is like severely dug out where the guns were placed but this trail I don't know if you can see behind me is really overgrown 
and quite buggy. Obviously it's Florida, but just so you know, bring your bug spray, but it's really overgrown. Oh, here's another um, gun placement. So it's really cool. They have the sign and then you can see from where, let's see, the trail is right here. It definitely dips down and drops down. And that's where it was um, dug out and the guns were placed. So that part's really, really cool. Um, that's probably about, let's say 4.30 in the evening. I can see the Apalachicola River from here. Um, so it's just a really cool kind of historical trail to take. It's not very long um, because the, like I said, the other trails are um, not worthy for a baby. So, we're just doing this one really quickly this evening. Um, in fact, I think I've lost my, there's a lot of elevation changes going up and down. Lots of stairs. Um, gun placement four. So like I said, you could see where it's like dug down, down in there. Um, but even like, there's still lots of damage from Hurricane Michael and just the whole like, you can see the tree down over the over the trail is just oh, there it is um so it's just like that everywhere still around here because the recovery is just taking so long nature it's got to build itself back So the trail has loops down. Oh dear. This is what, can you see behind me? This is the trail. I guess I gotta go up around this big log. Or oh, that's not a log, it's a tree. Um, um, so the trail is looping back around down near the river, which is much more enjoyable. A huge boat just passed by if you couldn't hear it um so it's a little bit cooler over here than it was like a couple hundred yards that way where we were on the other side of the trail so it's leaping back up around the gregory house and it's really pretty in here this evening so i'm gonna turn the camera around and get some footage because the light is hitting like just right with the ferns and the moss and i can't take it it's so pretty Apalachicola River. We've gotten close enough to it that I can see the water moving. It is, again, really far down there. I don't know if you can see. Um, but we are right behind the Gregory House. Actually, it's right... I gotta get a video. It's up there. Um, but it's really pretty. I love this trail. Oh, much better. Oh, look at... Sorry. Weird moment for Jen. <laughs> Um, really pretty and it's in the evening what did I say about 4 35 o'clock ish it's November 12th day after Veterans Day Sean's a veteran think a veteran um, so the weather is perfect this is a lovely trail
this is just the remnant of the sunset behind me but it is like a gorgeous burning like i can't even describe this is um the weeping ridge trail i just walked like 10 feet down it right next to the campground to get these amazing amazing views finishing up our evening here at the overlook i don't know if you can see in the video and behind me there are bats flying out of it which is pretty cool so we are going to head back have dinner enjoy the fire right john and call it a night and play what we're gonna do tomorrow. Where's bat right now? Wonderful chilly morning here in Florida. We are loving it. Um, we came down to the Garden of Eden trail because I heard it probably was the best in the area. Not heard, read through the All Trails app. So far, it's for the first five minutes have been pretty awesome. <laughs> We're gonna get some good views of the Apalachicola River and probably spend about two, three hours hiking. So we'll see how the, the day the day goes and how much it warms up. This is probably one of the most beautiful spots that I have happened upon in a really long time. I came through the trail right there over this bridge and just stopped and I was in such awe. Like for me personally, this is a gorgeous spot. Coming across the bridge, the sun is shining down, the creek is just so pretty, the colors of the leaves, the leaves are falling. Like, like I literally had tears in my eyes, as weird as it sounds. It's so pretty down here. So I'm spending a few minutes down here. I've lost Sean and the baby, he's up there somewhere. She's asleep, so it's okay. Uh, and I'm gonna spend a few more minutes having a personal mindful minute soaking in the love. All right, so we've come to another spot that I think is really cool. We got up, elevations up pretty high and it kind of just like has opened up up here it's kind of desolate looking around me but there's just like this one oak tree up here which is like so cool looking to me just kind of all by himself um, with some down trees and burned wood around us so um, this has been one of the best hikes I've been on in a really long time I highly recommend it here on our last evening enjoying the sunset um, the Weeping Ridge Trail which is I'm right at the top of the access to from the campground a hiker came up the trail maybe less than five minutes ago and he said he saw a bear cub down there so as interesting as that is not going down there but we are here to enjoy the sunset 
and then head back with a fire and relaxing.